Hey fam, I just wanted to let you know I'm about to run in Trader Joe's. It's been about, I want to say, wow, two weeks since my last Trader Joe's haul. That was a huge haul. So I am actually just running in here for a few things like greens, um, stuff like that. Some things the kids need. My daughter is at ballet, so I don't have a ton of time. Uh, before I need to pick her up so I can't even spend a ton of time in here if I wanted to it is early so I'm hoping it's not busy um, if you go to Trader Joe's you know how it is it's usually so busy so I'm hoping I can get in and get everything and um, get out so I've got my mask here and um, I've got my gloves I'm gonna take those in with me I probably won't, oh, I'm sorry, I probably won't film too much inside just because, like you know, Trader Joe's is usually crazy and the social distancing thing doesn't, uh, is usually not the best in there. So I like to get in and get out, but we will see. Okay, I'll see you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, it's a little bit louder than usual in here. We have the air on, and that's a little bit loud, and fans and everything. It is a hot day. So, I am going to try and speak a little bit louder. This is everything. <laughs> I guess this is what I call my small haul, because last time, like I said, was my larger haul. This was $149.66 for everything. Uh, the last haul was three something, I believe, but I showed that then and I will link above to it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start on the produce and we'll work our way around. Got two bags of the Brussels here. Um, I'm hoping these are good. Last time I got some Brussels sprouts, they were half eaten by bugs inside. So I'm hoping these are good. Um, I just make these straight up with a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil. Really crisp them up, char them up, and then finish them with some agave and nutritional yeast. And the kids absolutely love them. For salads and things, I got some Tuscan kale, baby spring mix butter lettuce and radicchio and then two mixed baby kales there um we were all out of our greens that i got in the last haul so i had to really stock up on those couple of bags of rice cauliflower for myself and three bags of the mushrooms you guys i put these in the dehydrator with whatever seasoning i want and dehydrate them up i'm currently raw um so I don't know if I've put my fully raw video up yet uh, before this or after, but I will link above, but I am currently doing, you know, high to 100% raw. So I love to do those in the dehydrator. And then I'm using these as well for like tacos and sandwiches and stuff. Again, fully raw. And then I've got some cucumbers for salads and whatnot. Some cherries there and some sugar plum tomatoes. Absolutely loving the tomatoes this summer. We got a yellow melon here this time. So we're gonna try this one. It's called what? Sunny Gold. So we're gonna try that one. Hopefully it's nice and sweet and good. And then just some romaine hearts. Use those to you know, wrap up potatoes or just slice sandwiches, burgers, whatever. We use a lot of romaine. Um, some bananas. Oranges, lemons, avocados, the usual there. And if this is your first time with us, I just want to let you know um, that I disinfect everything before we put it in the kitchen or put it away. So we've done that already. And then for the produce, um, I wash that up in a bath either with my fruit and veggie wash or with soap. 
and um, I will link that above how I do that as well. So all of this has been disinfected except for these guys in the bags. I need to do those. Okay, so back over here, I wanted to try this looked good. Middle East style feast and the kids love grape leaves. So it's got grape leaves, hummus, lentil salad, and a cracked bulgur wheat salad. Looked really good. And we got some more of these buttons. Um, I enjoy these. The kids enjoyed them too, but I like having those on hand. It's like fruit leathers, but in circular type of, um, in a circle shape. Very good. Some little treats here. These lobsters. These are vegan. No um, gelatin are in these. And then in carnauba wax, no beeswax. And then we always stock up on mallows. Some more um, sourdough bread. Always have to get that. Ow! Right, sorry. Rice cracker medley. Some frozen foods. Not too many because we did stock up when I did my larger haul. But my husband likes this chicken-less orange mandarin orange morsels. I thought that was tikka masala. No, we still have tikka masalas in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Um, some corn. I want to do in the dehydrator some corn chips. So that's why I got two bags of the corn. This makes quick meals, like with some rice on the sal side and some salad. It's these vegetable spring rolls. And mm. then we got some gluten-free waffles. That's like a quick little fast snack for you guys, huh? What's that? Yes, because how many oranges do you eat a day? Five. Five at least, Sometimes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he loves oranges, so we always got to stay stocked up on those. Um, Some gluten-free spaghetti here, brown rice, quinoa spaghetti. Last time we tried that, they really enjoyed it. Thai curry simmer sauce, and um, you guys remember, if you remember my first haul after like quarantine i got one of these sauces and it broke in the bag the bag was packed so oh, heavy no. i know that's it was so sad true. it broke in the garage mm. um so we never got to try it i don't know how it is so i got another one i was like against getting it for a while because i felt bad that i had broke mine <laughs> but i went ahead and bought we one got waffles <laughs> yes gluten-free waffles it's the ones you like. And then this Romanesco or Romesco dip looked really good. Look at that. It's got like almonds, peppers, tomatoes in it. I thought, ooh, to dip some veggies or something, that would be so good. You guys, if you know any like new kind of vegan product or not even new, just stuff that you buy that you think we would like, please let me know down below. I love finding this new stuff at Trader Joe's and trying it. This is new for me. I don't know how long it's been around, but it's a truffle ketchup. And it sounded so good. It's got other flavors in there, too. And so I went ahead and picked it up. I thought, I'm going to try this ground cloves, ginger powder, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to try that, but definitely let me know down below your like favorites or whatever you think we should try. I had to get some aminos. Remember last time, you guys, I forgot my aminos. Uh, some sauerkraut. I finished mine last night. Some more couscous. An Israeli couscous. The kids call these couscous bollies because they're so big. Some dried cherries. We went dried fruit crazy on our last haul, so I just got another couple of things. We were out of the cherries. I got some baby pineapples because we got the regular pineapple last time. And then this was new or new to me. It's a black tea with peach juice. There's no sweetener or anything in here, and it's sparkling. So I thought my daughter would like this. Mia Coda. She likes um, fizzy waters, and she likes tea a lot. Black tea. She's currently really on black tea. She has me make her some every day. So, Cody Bird. I thought she might like this. Look, I got this new tea for you. Um, 
She's hot, so she's only wearing a bra, so I can't show her, but um, here Why we go. Why do you need to say it? Well, because I was going to show you looking at it, but I didn't want you to get on camera. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is our haul for today. Um, yes, definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. And we are going to, I post two times a week on Sundays and Thursdays, so we will see you guys in another couple of days. All right. Bye.